In the movies they used to make back in the 1950s, life was a teenage beach party. The biggest threat to public morals was a dance called The Twist. And there was a young actor named Tab Hunter who was every high school girl's idea of a dreamboat. He was a boy who never seemed to get any older. Well, he has. I'm no longer in the public eye. I was really surprised when you all said we want to do something on you. I thought, why, why me? I'm appreciative. I thank you very much. But uh, you know, I'm as popular out on the West Coast as yesterday's chopped liver. <laughs> Come on. They say for every boy and girl, there's just... It wasn't always that way. In 1956, over one million heartsick girls bought Tab Hunter's recording of the song Young Love. As an actor of the 1950s, he was a teenage heartthrob. Discovered while he was working in Los Angeles as a stable boy, Hunter's fresh-faced good looks caught on fast. By 1955, his fans had chosen him as outstanding new movie personality. It all began in 1949 when a fatherless runaway named Arthur Jolene suddenly found himself with a Hollywood contract and a new identity. I was so green, I couldn't read my new name off a piece of paper, you know, Tab Hunter. I didn't like it at first. I thought, what happens when you're older? <clears throat> and it says, Tab, you expect someone to come waddling out in a pair of diapers. It just didn't sound right to me. I'm used to it now, of course. Tab Hunter today is 45. Morning. He lives 3,000 miles from Hollywood in rural Virginia. This is horse country, and fox hunts are everyday events. Tab Hunter is at home here. In fact, the story goes that his movie name came from his working with hunters and jumpers at horse shows. Let's tab him Hunter, they said. Even before he was a movie star, he was a trophy-winning horseman. When I was about 11 or 12, my brother uh, took me out to a stable. <laughs> Scared to death at first. And then I just became more in love with it all the time because I found that those days I couldn't communicate with people. I used to be really shy, you know? I go out to the barn and I spend all my time with my horses. Hunter still likes to train and sell young horses. For the past three years, he's lived in a rented house overlooking the Shenandoah River with his secretary, John Donaldson. Acting is still what pays the bills. I love working as an actor. I have to keep working. That's why I moved from California, because when I couldn't work there, I was not content to just sit by a swimming pool and read a script wake up tomorrow morning, you're 65 years old, and you're not doing anything. I went off to Europe, and I worked there. I did a lot of spaghetti westerns. I worked here and there, worked in Italy, worked in Spain. And then I came back and did a little bit of television. And I work in dinner theaters. I'm one of the pioneers of dinner theaters. I've been doing them for 10, 12 years. I do them all over the country, and I love it. And you get these wonderful people that come on up and say, Hey, you've done real good. Slam you in the back. That's wonderful because it's simple and honest. I like that, you know, as opposed to, you know, pressuring people. The pressures of the big Hollywood studios made Tab Hunter, and in the end, they brought him down. When I was under contract, you know, a studio would tell you what they wanted you to do. After a while, I'd say, hey, wait a minute. That's not what I really feel. I started resenting being told what to do when I didn't feel that way. I sort of tried to break away from that mold. You want to be an individual. You want to be yourself. Uh, and how do you do this when you're getting all kinds of, when you're getting 2,500 or 1,500 letters a week and people wanting from you? You know, I don't think people are entitled to do that. If Hunter got a call to come back to Hollywood, he says he'd take it. But he's not waiting for the phone to ring. He says he's learned that being a big name in Hollywood can't be taken too seriously. My favorite thing happened in Florida. I was doing a play down there. This woman stepped in the elevator, and she did, looked at me, and then she did this double tank, and she looked at me, and she went... I said, Troy Donahue, and she said, that's it! <laughs> that's one of my favorites. Whatever happened to Tab Hunter, that's what happened to Tab Hunter. I'm Dan Rather, with Barbara Howard and Charles Carroll, and that's Who's Who.